Okay, so we have installed uh, WordPress, we got some uh, removed plugins and now we need to install plugins what we actually will use in, uh, in order to create powerful WordPress e-commerce website. So uh, first of all, uh, we should install uh, WooCommerce. This is plugin, uh, it's like a shopping cart. So you can, uh, so if we go to plugins, click on add new. First of all, here uh, you can see menus. You can click on recommended, popular. You can check here time by time in order to see what uh, plugins are uh, popular at the moment and uh, it comes so as well you can click on here uh, search plugin and for example you can type here plugin name if uh, for some reason it's not displayed uh, on the first page so for example woocommerce and here it is so uh, as you can see it's a really powerful plugin it's a lot of uh, active installations okay so let's click on install now so uh, when complete you will see button uh, button will change from down now to activate so let's click on activate now and uh, after that we should see setup page and also WooCommerce will be displayed in your left side of navigation Okay, so I have clicked on activate now and as you can see now we can see uh, store setup if you do not have time to set up store right now you can click on no right now not right now and you can uh, complete setup later okay so let's uh, complete our uh, let's complete this uh, wizard so here you should select a uh, country uh, from uh, where is where is your store based okay so I've se uh, select United States for example select currency you can put here your uh, address So let's type here all details, what they ask us. Here we can select, select what type of goods you are planning to sell, physical or digital. Okay, so when done, let's click on let's go. Okay. So they ask us to select state from uh, from the list. Okay, when done, click on let's go. And uh, then we should see next step, it's a payment step. Here you can select uh, how you'd like to uh, accept payments uh, in your online store so if we click on offline payments here we can select check bank cash and delivery so you can uh, disable or enable these options so uh, this is how it works like if you have PayPal account you can select it and type here uh, type here your uh, PayPal email address same uh, for Stripe account if you got one if you do not have a Stripe account simply go to Google or uh, simply type here stripe.com and uh, you will see different options so simply click on start now and you will be able to create your Stripe account same for PayPal, just uh, visit PayPal and click on sign up, fill their uh, registration form, select your personal, you can start from personal, personal account if you want and complete uh, all their uh, 
complete fields what the, what they are asking and after that uh, okay let's leave just a paypal at moment and uh, click on continue anyway if you do not have uh, all these accounts ready you can complete WooCommerce setup later okay so uh, now they ask us for shipping you can disable this at the moment okay I'll sell mattresses so we'll put kilograms here okay let's click on continue now we can see uh, recommended features so uh, <coughs> storefront team so this will install this will install the uh, standard and free team what uh, uh, so you do not need to buy any team any design so it will install from uh, ready-made templates I will switch off these two plugins and will install only this one storefront team okay let's click on continue Okay, guys so it's loading <clears throat> so yes uh, now let's can uh, continue with uh, commerce services so uh, jetpack will be associated with your commerce website okay we are ready to start selling everything is completed now and now what we can do this is the way how you can add products to your website is uh, import them i will show you how to generate and import products later now let's go to visit dashboard and see how it looks like so here is this dashboard for our woocommerce you can uh, you can see that we have uh, one more tab here so let's click on it as you can see it, it will be displayed here now so woocommerce is installed if you would like to make changes click on on it here and click on settings and all settings what we have done already you can modify in this page so as you can see here is address what we have entered here you can see products shipping payment details so everything is possible to, to find in this navigation so you can modify everything here okay so uh, we are ready with WooCommerce now uh, now uh, now let's move to the next lecture and I will show you what other plugins we need to install and uh, so let's go to plugins add new let's go back to that page and I will show you what plugins uh, we need to install in order to complete uh, our uh, to start adding products to our website